All right, here we go from our college algebra homework in my math lab number four. It wants us to find the zeros of the polynomial function and state the multiplicity of each. So I've copied my function down over here and we're going to go through and we're going to find all of the zeros. And then in order to put these into my math lab correctly, it wants the smallest zero first. So we'll have to find them all figure out which one is smallest, and then go with that first. Now the way that you find the zeros, if your uh, function is already factored, is you're going to set each factor equal to zero. So we're going to start and we're going to say x to the fourth equals zero, x minus four squared equals zero, and x plus 3. So that doesn't have an exponent, which is understood to be 1, so we can just say x plus 3 equal to 0. All right, for the first factor, we're going to have to take the fourth root of each side to get rid of that exponent of 4. But the fourth root of 0 is 0, so there is our first 0. On the second factor, we're going to have to take the square root of each side to get rid of that squared, which is going to leave us x minus 4 equals 0, again because the square root of 0 is 0, and then moving the minus 4 over is going to give us x equal 4. Last factor, moving the plus 3 over, gives us x is negative 3. And now we're going to go ahead and state the multiplicity of each one of these zeros so that we'll be ready to put them in. So how do you know the zero? Well, the zero is the power of the factor that the zero came from. So x equals zero came from this factor, which has an exponent of four. So that's going to be multiplicity four. The x equal four came from this factor, which has an exponent of 2, so he's multiplicity 2. And then the x plus 3, remember he didn't have an exponent visible, so that's an understood 1. And so he's going to be multiplicity 1. And so now let's input those answers and see what we got. The smallest 0 is negative 3. With a multiplicity of 1, middle 0 would be 0 with a multiplicity of 4. And the largest 0 was x equal 4 with a multiplicity of 2. And so there you go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Or you can text me if you need help. And thanks for watching.